Hi, myself Venkatesh Varlu, PhD student at the Department of Chemical Engineering IIT Roorkee. I'll be talking on interface evolution during the droplet formation in a degeneration microfluidic system. <clears throat> Microfluidics has become a promising research platform in the present time due to its potential applications in various engineering and biomedical fields like protein encapsulation, DNA analysis. The fluid fluid interface formed by immiscible fluids such as water and oil and possess numerous distinctive characteristics, although several attempts have been made to elucidate the mechanism of droplet pinch off in a cross flow microfluid system, it is still challenging to accurately capture the rapidly changing instantaneous topology of the interface due to the highly nonlinear coupled physics. Hence, the present study has aimed to investigate the interface evolution. Consider the two-dimensional laminar flow of two fluids through T-junction rectangular microfluidic device. T-junction is constructed by a vertical channel intersecting perpendicular to the horizontal channel. The interface evolution profile is described by three parameters. First, RF and RR. The front and right sides of the interface determined by using Tobin circle fitting method, 2R. The second one is 2R interface neck width is essentially the distance between the junction point to the nearest point on the interface. And third one, RC mean, the local radius of curvature is determined by fitting the interface curvature into a polynomial function and it is best fitted with the seventh order polynomial. The procedure for calculation of RC mean is shown in this particular table. Assumptions in the present study are both the fluids are equal in density, Newtonian, immiscible, incompressible fluids. The present physical model can mathematically be expressed by the conservation of mass and momentum equations. Since there is an interface existing between the two immiscible fluids, the conservative level set method has been adopted to track the topology of the interface. The dimensionless numbers used are capillary number, Reynolds number, and flow rate ratio. The ranges of numerical parameters are shown here. The validation of the present work is shown in this particular slide. Based on the evolution and movement of the interface curvature, the droplet generation cycle is classified into five stages, namely initial, filling, uh, pinch, squeezing, pinch off, and stable. As a result of a balancing of interfacial tension, viscous and pressure forces at the neck. In this section, the instantaneous evolution of the interface curvature profiles is recorded as an essential feature of feature to analyze and understand the mechanism of droplet formation and breakup. At higher flow rate ratios, the interface curve shows a smooth bending at the pinch off point. For instance, the interface evolution has a smooth bending like a precise concave shape at the pinch off for QR equal to 10, and a sharp V shape for uh, QR equal to one, and has not shown much variation at QR equal to one by 10. Hence, the interface shows sharp fluctuations near the pinch off stage, as the interfacial force is balanced by the shear force exerted by the surrounding fluid due to pressure. It can be concluded that, uh, concluded from all these observations that the droplet shape is finally determined by the interface evolution only. The local minimum radius of curvature, RC min, and net width 2 are, are two critical dynamic characteristics of the interface curvature governing the droplet, dynamic, uh, droplet breakup. The value of Laplace pressure is responsible for the droplet pinch off, and it is calculated using three approaches shown here. Both RC min and 2R show qualitatively similar trends that is decreasing with time for QR equal to 10. Quantitatively, they initially differ by order of magnitude. As the interface gradually bends uh, to a concave shape with time, RC min decreases solely due to the shear stress exerted by uh, the continuous phase on the interface. As at the pinch of time, the interface curvature is becoming infinitely large and r reduces spontaneously and approaches to zero, thereby resulting the pinch off of the droplet and the corresponding Laplace pressure is increasing and sudden shoot up at the pinch off point as the curvature becomes infinitely large. 
and conclusions are interface evolution and droplet mechanism are thoroughly discussed and other things are also shown over here thank you for your patient listening